Next, horsepower. How much do you reckon your car has? By reading car magazines and handbooks, we all think we have the answer. But do we really know? When engines get older, their parts begin to wear, and that causes a drop in power. There's even a myth amongst petrol heads that engines will lose one brake horsepower per year. Today, I'm testing this myth and investigating whether it's possible to restore any lost power. My guinea pig is his 1995 Volkswagen Corrado VR6. VW claim it had 190 brake horsepower when new. Last week, we put this well-maintained machine on a rolling road, which revealed it's got just 177 brake horsepower. Now, that's not quite one brake horsepower per year loss, but it is a lot less than the manufacturer promised when new. So, we're going to find out if we can turn this back to its original health. Uh, nurse, fetch me a defibrillator. I'm going to try a variety of power restoring techniques. After testing each, we'll see what effect they've had on the engine's power. Step one is to clean the fuel system. There are several potions on the market which claim to restore power by clearing out the gunk that builds up in the fuel lines, pumps and injectors. We've used a £5 bottle of fuel additive as per the instructions and run the car for a week to give it time to work. OK, let's get the Corrado on the rolling road. The equipment sensors will detect even minute changes in horsepower by measuring the forces sent through the wheels. To make sure we get an accurate result, we'll do each test eight times and take the highest figure. So, has the fuel additive made any difference? Right, let's have a look at the results then. The red number is after the Red X treatment, green is before, and as you can see, that's a big increase. That's the best part of six horsepower. And what's happening is, inside all the fuel lines, and particularly the injectors, they get clogged up with dirty deposits. And this Red X would have cleaned that out, making everything work more efficiently, back to almost like how it was designed to. But it's important to remember, you can't just keep putting more and more of that stuff in, because once it's clean, it's clean, so then we've got to look for other ways to try and recover some of the lost power. But that is a great result. Next, some changes that will be routinely carried out during a regular service, starting with a new air filter. It's designed to stop dust getting into the engine, but if it's clogged up, it could be impeding airflow and limiting power. Typical of older cars, our Corrado is full of leaves, which probably isn't helping. Now, an oil change and a replacement of the oil filter. As an engine operates, microscopic pieces of metal wear away and get contained within the oil. Now, these tiny particles increase the internal friction of the engine and the result, a loss in power. So, an oil change and a new filter should benefit the engine. It'll cost around 45 quid plus labour if you're not doing it yourself. But will it help claw back any more of that lost power? To ensure that our results are accurate, the system will cleverly compensate for any changes in air temperature between tests that might affect the engine's performance. Right, you're not looking. You're not looking. I am. Oh, that's not bad. Look. Two horsepower in oil, oil filter and air filter. That's only, what, four horsepower and a bit off what it was when it was new. Come on, more work. My final route to restoring power is to help the engine's ignition. By replacing the spark plugs and their leads, I'll be maximising the engine's ability to ignite its fuel. This is expensive, at 73 quid for six plugs and 163 quid for six leads. But will it help boost our power back to the level it was at when the car was new? Mega results. Let's go right the way back to the beginning. Standard car, 177 horsepower. What you'd kind of expect. Next one is with the Red X, 183, quite a big jump. Then the purple one here, 185, that's oil, oil fi filters and air fil filters. And then the last change with all of them, plus spark plugs and plug leads, 
188 horsepower. It's over 11 difference. So that's what, 5% and only, well, less than two shy of what it originally came with when it was new. I would have thought that's a great day's work. When driving the car before carrying out the work, I noticed some throttle hesitation between three and 4,000 revs. So after our fettling, can I feel any difference? Actually, you can. There's definitely more grunt. The throttle's much sharper. Gone is the hole that was in the rev band. The power delivery about mid-range. Actually not gone completely, but it's much better. We spent 300 quid getting the Corrado back to virtually its original power. But if you're on a budget, we'd recommend using the fuel additive, which in our test at just a fiver was by far the most cost-effective treatment. Ah, that's a great result. Well, well done, the lads in the workshop. 